Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Mr. Aid. Hi, Mr. Jeff. Hi, Mr. Jeff. And today we're taking a look at our top five rare Shadows of the Galaxy Star Wars Unlimited cards. Okay. Yeah. So how have you guys gone about picking these? Because for when I went through it, I kind of went through a mixture of how much it would annoy me to play against this and how much fun I'm going to have annoying people playing this. So how did you guys come with your decisions? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hand up and say yeah, pretty much the same. I'm looking I'm looking at stuff that I'm not looking at things that you're gonna build a specific deck around. I'm looking at things that I can put into decks that are gonna be fun and annoying, as I usually do. Aid? Yeah, I, I'm now starting to look at cards that I'm thinking this is gonna go into every single deck. And also there's one that I'm actually building decks around now and experimenting with stuff. So we, because we, we, we're getting to the, the more top tier cards now, aren't we? With, you know, from a power level point of view. So, but yeah, as our previous videos, this is without extensive play. You know, Shadows uh, the Galaxy has only been out for a week or so, depending on when you're watching this. So this is based on our experience of set one, what we think the card's going to do, and some limited play with some of the cards. We will come back in months in the future to see how well we got on did we point and laugh at each other i think <laughs> i was gonna say mocking will. there will be mocking there will, yeah, there will there will uh, right who's on first mr d you go first yeah go on i'll go first here's my first card and this is based on observation of seeing it playing at a play release tournament number five number oh. five dr pershing Oh, I was going to a quick question. How many, yeah. before you start, how many crossovers do you think we're going to have? I reckon we're probably going to have a good two. I reckon at least three. Yeah, I reckon I'm going to have two. Is, at is least this, is this like turn. playing uh, Liar with the dice? Are we, are we doing <laughs> yeah. that? It, yeah. I'm yeah. going two. Okay. Okay. No, joking. <laughs> okay. Right. So, uh, yes. Carry on, Mr. D. Sorry. Yeah. So, Dr. Pershing. Two for a zero five might not look much, but then your action tap one deal damage for a friendly unit and draw a card. I saw this played at the pre-release tournament, and it was it was useful. If you ever if you see this played against you at any point, burn it with fire. Kill it, kill it as quickly as you can because it is horrible. I did exactly the same thing as you, Mr. Uh, Mr. D. I this came out and I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm not worried about that. You know, it's just draw a card. You know, I love, I like cards that help you draw a card. I wasn't really worried about it, but my goodness, it did not make a difference to uh, to the game. Mr. Aid, completely agree. There's so much grit now in across the two sets, um, but also it can just keep doing damage to itself to yeah. draw cards. Okay, so that's so that's, that's the, the the ping of it, isn't it? You got yeah. kind of five turns to 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 draw a card with him. Yeah, such a cheap card and such such a useful ability. It had to be in my top five. Yeah, all right, Aid, what you got? Completely agree. That's why we have our first crossover. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and in exactly the same spot for all the reasons that you said. I say I, I just you know grit the fact it can t draw four cards before it even kills itself. If you just ignore it, is just nasty. Don't really understand the artwork, but who cares? It's a great card. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 a is he a Rogue One character? No, he was in uh, Andor. I oh, was it Andor? Okay, I, I'm I'm sure it was. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Okay, right. Well, that's that's well, you two have uh, clearly been been having a chat. So um, we were comparing let's notes. What, yep. Let's see what Mister C comes up with. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've chosen this one, right? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, again, I, it, it, I was really impressed with just how useful it was. So, um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll consider that one ticked off, shall we? Yeah. So we all got the memo then. That's, yes. that's good. Yeah, everyone everyone yeah. got the memo about that, that one. Yeah. Here we go. Here's my next one then. Uh, um, number four. Number four is... Uh, number four... Imprisoned. Yes. Attached yes. to a non-leader unit. Attached unit loses its current abilities and can't gain abilities. For two, I just like that card because when I yeah. when you bring out your 
Wrecker or your Crate uh, Dragon. Crate Dragon, and I play that for two, take two damage from my base, and you sit there going, like, what am I supposed to do now? I just think that's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful card. Yeah. Yeah, good. I completely skipped this out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I just, just, yeah, I think it just purely passed me by. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. No, I thought, not, I thought not, was... not deliberately. So yeah. I thought that was that was a re... no, that's that's a really good card as Look, we may discover later. So my number four is something I am currently building decks around is first light. I so thought it might have been that one. Yeah. Seven cost four seven. Stats are all right, but it does come with grit, and then it gives sadly only every other friendly unit, uh, non leader unit grit. So everything on the board apart from your leader gets grit, and you can smuggle it. And the smuggle ability looks bad until the fact that you think if you're playing a load of grit cards, you're instantly gritting up a friendly unit. Potentially this yeah. one. I was about to say, I would most likely think you'd play it straight away on its on itself. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I can see you. I can see you building building decks around that. Yeah, I, I luckily picked up these on pre-release, and it pretty much won every game for me when it came out. Yeah, it's a nice card. No. That's okay. my number four. Uh, well, I haven't got the same card as you. You'll be pleased to hear. Uh, so number four, here we go. It's uh, Altering the Deal. Now, we, we spoke when we were doing our uh, Uncommon cards about uh, capturing and, 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 and such like, and I've, I've used capture fairly effectively to take something mahusive out of the game. And I was, I was doing it for, you know, get rid of it for a turn give you a chance to get get ahead before they can smush your unit and get it back but with this you can capture something really rather tasty stick it under something that's not you know it doesn't have to be absolutely massive it just needs to survive the next action and then you can get rid of it um i think that's that's going to be if you're if you're building a capture deck uh, a villainy capture deck. Um, I think that's that needs to be in there. Even if, even if you, you you're not using villainy to 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 get rid of something for three isn't. That's not a bad cost. It's not yeah. a bad cost at all. Um, and I just I think this is one of those cards that's just going to be fun on the button when you play it against someone. Yeah, I like that. I like that card. Yeah, it was close to my top five. It, it's just it's one of those one of those ones where you just play it and, and they, your opponent just goes sneaky sneaky. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just going to upset somebody. Um, so yeah, there you go. Okay, here goes here goes my number three. Mall mall. Yeah, seven for a seven six with force and underworld. Comes out with Ambush and Overwhelm, and on attack, you may choose a friendly Underworld unit. If you do, all combat damage that will be dealt to this unit during this attack is dealt to the chosen unit instead. Oh, he's a cad, isn't he? He's a cad. Yeah. That's more. Nasty, nasty men. <laughs> um, I I just like that. I think it's... For what you pay for it, I think that's more than worth it. It, do you know this? This nearly made my list. It only didn't because of the cost of seven. It's when when you get get further on in the game, unless you're building a deck that's specifically going to do something, um, he he's too expensive for me. He's too expensive to just drop in something for schnitz and giggles. Uh, but I I really it's the fact that you get ambush and overwhelm, and he can and he can yeet off his the damage to to some other poor poor boob. Um, it, it is it is a really good card. I I think stick him in a Jabba deck, and you can palm off the palm off the damage to Jabba while he's swinging away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting too excited because he might be coming up later. <laughs> <laughs> How many crossovers we had so far? Just the one, isn't it? Just where the we, where one. we all had the exact all same. Three of us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Possibly so, two now. It's like or, or three actually because you've you've got one of Jeff's coming up. Okay. So my what well, we are number three, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. So my number three is a card Thanks. I think with certain decks utterly busted. And that is a five space unit for the Survivor's Gauntlet. So it's a four six. Stats are all right. Uh, when played on attack, you may attach an upgrade on a unit to another eligible unit controlled by the same player. So it's okay. got the Mandalorian keyword, it's got vehicle and transport. So you attack first round. With a mm. unit with the dark saber, 
you then play this out. You then move the dark saber to a unit that oh. isn't exhausted, and then you get to attack again with the exhausted. You then get to attack with this unit, and then you you can just keep moving upgrades around. It's yeah. so bloody strong that once you get actually, it out. Yeah, that I and I was I was thinking more about uh, kind of armor and you know lightsabers and stuff like that. But that that, that dark saber, yeah. Also, if you want to move shields off opponents' uh, yeah. units onto other, and shield units that are already exhausted, it does lots and lots of fun stuff. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, you can take experience off. Yeah, units with that. Take experience off another unit, put it onto yours. Yeah, I like that. No, no, yeah. you can't. You can't put it. Can't put it on yours, but yeah. you can put it on theirs. But if they've got something that's hanging on by the skin it. of its teeth, yeah. you can take that experience and put it on something yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. Any reason it's not number behold, one? It's gone. It's because. It, you're stuck to the player, that controlling player. You know, if you yeah. could just move up grades either side of the board, this would yeah. well, be... that, that would be OP, wouldn't <laughs> it? Would so it, it would. But yeah, this, this this card is already really strong in my Boca Tan deck, but I will be mm. doing tech deck in the next day or so, I think, now. Cool. Oh. Okay. That's All my right. number three. Uh, well, I, I, mine's going to seem really boring now compared to that because... Uh, I've I've just gone for for something that you can drop into lots of stuff, uh, Mandalorian armor. So plus one plus three like that. Uh, when played, if its attached unit is Mandalorian, give a shield token to it as well. So I think two uh, for a one three is firstly very reasonable and uh, will be very useful in a lot of decks. If you've got Mandalorians in your deck, it just it just makes it even even more useful. I think it's a good all round card. There's nothing exciting about it, nothing clever. To you know, sort of, oh, you can play it like this. It it does exactly what it says on the tin, and that is, it beefs up your unit and makes it a lot harder to kill. Yeah, okay. yeah, well done. good. Yeah, yeah. shields are a good, always good value, aren't they? As well, it, so. it, it's they, they are so, so annoying when you've you've got shields on stuff and your opponent's got to ping them off before they can actually do any damage to you. It's yeah, fantastic. So I I just thought that was a that was a good all rounder. No, it's good card. Right, okay. Right. So we're, we're on number two. Number two, aren't we? Two. I've gone for tech. I knew this would be on your list. <laughs> I just <laughs> just had a sneaky feeling. Um, three for a two five, and everything gets smuggle. Uh, and the smuggle cost is that card plus two, plus two. I just think that it expands your hand. As soon it's, as you put that in play, you've got so many more options. It's I it's like it's that it's that Java trade all over again, isn't it? It's just it's just giving you so many more things that you can that you can do. Yeah. Um and yeah, he'll drop into you know a number you don't need to worry about fringe or clone. You can just you can drop him into a number of decks. Yeah. Um and I think yeah, I th I think that's that is a really good one. It'll yeah. be really solid in the new Boba deck. Yeah. Because it gets everyone. To, everyone's going to get a keyword, then, aren't they? Technically, once they're played. Oh yeah, because yeah, they all get in. They ah, have they? Would they still have? Small... Do they lose it once they're they're um... out? Mm, good point. Uh... I feel a video coming. No, out. it says every friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, they, they do get smuggled. Yeah, so they they get the cuggle. They get the cuggle. Oh, the cuddle ski word. <laughs> the cuddle <laughs> ski word. Um, no, you know what I'm trying to say. They don't because it says each friendly resource gain smuggle. So once oh, it's okay, added, yeah. it doesn't get the keyword. No, no, no. Okay, so it's, it's not as good with Bob. I got all excited. It's still a good card. It's still good. It is okay. My number two. We've seen him before, and we <laughs> might see him again. He, well, we're not going to see him familiar. again. He looks familiar. This is our third crossover, I think, or coming up. It's more. Uh, all the same reasons that, that Jeff Dutton said. I say he's, you know, solid card. And he kills pretty much everything when he comes out. I think only Darth Vader and then Jabba Leader and Palpatine can take a, a hit of seven and survive, I think. I think. Hunter takes eight, doesn't he? Does as a Hunter, leader. Does he? Okay. Yeah, I think. No, what's he, what's he take? Is he an eight? Uh, uh, either way, there's not a lot of stuff yeah, that he's going to stand up to, yeah. to Maul and still be standing. Yeah, yeah. The fact that you get to sneak him out with that with ambush and then just go da da seven damage. Here you go. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's my number two. Maul. Okay. Uh my number two. Uh it's an oldie but a goodie. Uh and it is Imprisoned. Uh, when you said that, I thought it was gonna be a set one card like 
uh, <laughs> Sound block like, guard. No, you're, you're not paying attention, I'm, are you? I've uh, gone back with, uh, with uh, Cap- <laughs> Un- Underworld um, Dog. <laughs> I I have got I've got this same as same as Mr D. I've just got it a little bit higher up because I just think it is incredibly useful to take away the abilities um, from uh, the the units. And we've we've discussed it. We've looked at it. We know we like it. it. It's it's a great card. That's one that I will be putting in decks to upset people with. You don't have to take out something massive like a crate dragon or something. You can just really just annoy someone. You know, like um, uh, Cad Bane. Cad Bane yeah. was an absolute pain in the bum at those pre-release um, yeah. tournaments, weren't they? With that ping, ping, ping from the underworld. Well, now you've pinged off sunshine. <laughs> so there you go. Ping this. Okay, so <laughs> how many of us do you think have got the same card at number one? Probably <laughs> think, probably not me. I think at least two of us have got a crossover for number one. Oh, well, we'll find out, won't we? Let's have yeah, a look. We, we will. Hang on, let me bring Does it... it begin with one of the end letters in the alphabet? <laughs> possibly, yeah. <laughs> hey, how could you possibly know? Uh, here we go. Number one. Wrecker. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Love this card. Before we even saw... When this card was released, before the, the sets came out, I saw this card and just went, you've got to have that in your, in your deck. It's It's horrible. Yeah. Six foot seven six, and when and when played with overwhelm and when played, you may defeat a friendly resource if you do deal five damage to a ground unit. That is absolutely horrible. And when I was lucky enough to get a couple in the pre release, and when I played it in the pre release, all that happened was whoever was up against it went kill it. And while mm-hmm. you're killing, but as you're killing that and it takes some killing, I can do another stuff. Yeah, so there we go, wrecker for me. Totally agree. He's, he's yep. my number one as well. Um, so six. Cost. Oh, you ruined it there. You're not even, not even going to show the show. Oh, the card I'll show out. you six cost to do seven damage. Is just is mental. It's overwhelm, yeah. like you say, the, the the amount of units you've got to kill to take this out, nearly always going to be at least two. Yeah, you know, and that just sits and protects the base. But resources become less important after turn six and seven anyway. So you don't mind burning a resource off. So pretty much doing five damage to something. And when you drop entrenched on him as well, that's just horrible. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't even like aggression decks. It's not a style I enjoy. I don't play many red. And I've started messing around with more aggression decks because of this card. Yeah, he was he was played against me. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so right, so uh my um Rather boring. I know, he's, 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 he's really uh, he's not going to be anywhere near as exciting, I'm afraid. Uh, once again, it's something that I can just put into a variety of decks for fun. Uh, it is aggression aid, so pay attention. Uh, attached to a non vehicle unit, attached unit gains on attack. You may deal three damage divided as you choose among enemy ground units. Yeah. That, uh, I think, on the, the Dutton meter of bang for your buck. Uh, is is excellent and again if you can put that on something that's going to do a reasonable amount of damage already say something with overwhelm i don't know wrecker maybe yeah. that'd be handy um to to be able to attack and deal an additional three damage divider and again it's divided as you choose among enemy ground units so you can lose that shield you can take one and you're dead you can take one and you're and you're nearly dead you know and it's i i think that's that's going to work in a lot of decks uh, yes, it's yes, it's rare, so it's harder to get hold of. But I think it's the, that one's worth, you know, digging out and putting into your deck. I think it's worth having three copies of that because it just works with so many different things. Yeah, Stick that moisture farmer. Yeah, moisture yeah. farmer. I'll put it on the moisture farmer. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. Sorry, one, what were you saying? The one thing to bear in mind is you have to do that three damage. So you've yeah. just got like overwhelm with barrage. You've got to make sure you overspend to kill a unit. So if oh, they've yeah, only yeah, got yeah. two so, health, yeah. that extra damage is coming back to you. I'd say, but the thing is, so, if they've got if they've got a unit with one health left, you can still do all three damage. Yeah, to yeah. The you, unit you, with one I'm, health, ju- I'm just you? sort of saying you've, yeah. got to, you've just got to remember to do that because if not, you'll go. Yeah. Ah, you're um, about to go. You've still got two left. Actually, where are you putting it? Yeah, it, it does actually say it. I'm just looking. It's like you may deal three damage. So actually, if it's if it's going to be a problem and they've got no ground units you don't need yeah you don't have to but i think you have to do three damage or none yeah that's however I mean. however you choose yeah yeah, yeah. but I, I still think that's a really, really great card yeah it works really well with that um 
spaceship that moves the upgrades across. I say that that I, I've got a it's a, the blue, red Bo-Katan deck with just full of upgrades, and that ship to move stuff across is just horrible now. Yeah. So again, it's like yeah, on attack you make yeah. So you can move it move it to something else, and then on attack you're doing it all. Yeah. That's that's evil. That is. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say that 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 also ship is non unique, so you can have the three of them. Yeah. So if you've got all three out. It's just, just... So how many crossovers did we end up with in the end? Real Doctor What's it? Doctor Second Maul Wrecker Wrecker and pretty much all of my yeah. <laughs> You're just a trendsetter, Mister D. You're just a yeah. trendsetter. That's how I felt when we did our commons because you all two, you all went first, and then by the time I got to mine, I was like, everyone's seen every one of my cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, no, I've got never nothing mind. to add. But yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, oh. thanks. Thanks for watching. Please uh, do comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you think we're mad, or if we miss something that's incredibly important. Yeah, or uh, if you think only a fool doesn't put record at number one, you know, let let us know. Yeah, it it it, it could happen. Uh, you know, um, but but there you go. So anyone still watching? Thank you so much. Please do like, subscribe, join us for more nonsense, uh, and we'll see. What what are we going we're going to do? Legendaries, legendaries next, next aren't we? So, so we yeah. on our next uh, legendary video. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you. Bye. Yeah.